Welcome to Lecture Online. In this series, starting with this video, we're going to talk about exponential functions. So first, we're going to answer the question, what is an exponential function? Well, by definition, we can say that an exponential function is a function where the independent variable is the exponent. Here's an example of that. We have y, the function y equals c to the x power. c would be a constant that's considered the base and x becomes the exponent, which is the independent variable. The general form, we can write it as y is equal to c to the function of x, because it just doesn't have to be a constant raised to the x power. Sometimes we can have it in, in like this, where we have x plus 1 as the exponent, or 4 raised to the 2x exponent. So those are called exponential, exponential functions as well. But the standard form is simply y is equal to a constant raised to the independent, ver independent variable x. Of course, we could use another independent variable. We could use t for time, x for distance, and so forth. Or simply, x for quantity works as well. So here's some general examples. y is equal to 2 to the x power. y is equal to 5 to the x power. y is equal to 3 to the x plus 1 power. y is equal to 4 to the 2x power. Now, the equation can be graphed just like any equation, and here's an example of what it would look like if we graph y equals 2 to the x power. Notice that the function crosses the y-axis at y equals 1, and that's very peculiar about exponential functions. It doesn't matter what this constant is. This constant could be any number, 5, 10, a million. y equal a million to the x power will still equal 1 when x equals 0, because any number raised to the 0 power is always equal to 1. An exception to that, sometimes it's confusing, if you have the exponential function multiplied times another constant, c times 2 to the x power, notice that c is not affected by the exponent x, therefore that function crosses the y-axis, and yes, this is indeed the y-axis right here, and the x-axis, it crosses the y-axis at the constant value. So for example, if this is y equals 5 times 2 to the x power, of course, when x is equal to 0, 2 to the x, 2 to the 0 is equal to 1, 1 times 5 would therefore be equal to 5, and the function would then cross the y-axis at y equals 5. So to get a feeling for what exponential functions are, they are the type of functions that initially get increased rather slowly, but then very quickly begin to increase rather quickly. So that's what, we may, that's what we mean by exponential growth, for example. So populations will initially grow slowly, but over time they begin to go faster, faster, and faster. So let's try that here. Let's say that we start with a value x equal to, how about, minus 1. Well, when x is equal to minus 1, that means that y is equal to 2 raised to the minus 1 power, which is equal to 1 over 2 power, or 1 half. So that means when x is equal to negative 1, the value of y is equal to 1 half. When x is equal to 0, y will then be equal to 2 to the 0 power, or 1. When x is equal to uh, 1, y will be 2 to the 1 power, or 2. So you can see that the function initially grows rather slowly, but then as the value of x gets bigger, for example, when x equals 2, y becomes 4. When x equals 3, y becomes 8. When x equals 4, 16. 5, 32. So you can see that the value for y gets bigger faster and faster and faster. And that's the concept of an exponential function. They grow quicker, quicker, and quicker as the independent variable of x increases slowly. For example, if you let x equal 10, now y would be 1,024. Let x equals 100, y would be an astronomically big number. So they get very big very quickly as x gets bigger. So that's the concept of exponential functions. We'll show you all kinds of other things regarding those functions, and then eventually we'll get to the natural exponential function. So stay tuned if you're interested in exponential functions. We have some more videos for you.